Hi, this is Richard Crack here. Welcome to another session of my video. In today's session, I would like to talk about personal development. All right, and I would like to tell you a story and explain about the moral behind the story. Okay, so here goes. One evening, an elderly Cherokee brave told his grandson about a battle that goes on the inside of people. All right, inside people, there is a battle going on. He said, my son, the battle is between two wolves inside us of us all, all right? That means there are two wolves inside all of us, all right? One is evil. It is angry, envy, jealousy, sorrow, regret, greed, vengeance, arrogance, self-pity, guilt, resentment, inferiority, lies, false pride, superiority, and ego. Okay, so that is the, the evil wolf. Then the other wolf is good. It is joy, peace, love, hope, serenity, humility, kindness, benevolence, empathy, generosity, truth, compassion, and faith. Okay, so in all of us, we have got two wolves fighting with each other. All right, so the grandson thought about it for a minute and then asked grandpa which wolf wins all right then the old cherokee simply replied replied the cherokee replied the one that you feed okay the one that you feed so let me ask you this simple question so all of us have got two wolves one is the evil wolf and one is the good wolf so which one do you feed most of the time? All right, every day, what do you feed? Are you feeding the evil wolf or are you feeding the good wolf? That is a very important question because I believe that if you keep on feeding the evil wolf, that is why we are struggling all the time. Okay, it is high time to change to feed the good wolf. All right, now the negative emotion, okay, which is stress, okay, and it put us on the defensive side. All the negative emotions that is uh, demonstrated by the evil wolf is all about stress and put us on the defensive side. It will bring you back to the past, all right? Your life will be predictable. So your life will be predictable all the time. It is just like, you know, your life will be repeating itself all the time. The future is equal to the past, okay? Now, the positive emotion, on the other hand, keeps you focused on the future. Okay, positive emotions will keep you focused on the future. Uh, and then the other thing I want you to realize is that elevated emotion are what that will pull things that you desire to you. So what we are talking about here is positive emotion will attract, like a magnet, attract all the things that you desire into your life. Okay, now being grateful is one of the positive emotions, that's for sure, all right? Now, being grateful is the ultimate state of receivership. Ultimate state of receivership because when you are grateful for something, it means that it is already happening in your life. It attracts things into your life. So, my friend, you got a choice today, okay? Which wolf you want to feed? And I can tell you, 95% of the people in the world are feeding the evil wolf all the time. So, if you want to be successful, you got to start thinking again to change and now keep feeding the good wolf. All right? Because subconsciously, most of us are feeding the evil wolf because we do things without thinking. It is already in our subconscious mind and it becomes a part of our habit. That is why a lot of people live their life through all these negative emotions. They get angry, they get resentful, they get depressed and so on. All right? But... On the other hand, if you want to be successful, you got to feed the good wolf. That means all the positive emotion, which you have to do consciously. you got to do it consciously, my friend. There's no shortcut. you got to do it consciously to feed the good wolf if you want to have a better lifestyle. That's it. Okay? So, I hope that you learned something here from this short story here. If you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to share, and to comment. Okay? I would like to remind you again that uh, Facebook and social media is all about engagement. So, I thank you for your time that you spent with me here and I hope that you learned something. So, ask yourself, which wolf are you feeding? And if you know that you're feeding the evil wolf, well, it's high time that you change your priority to feed 
the good wolf instead. Okay, so that's all from me, Richard Quack here. Okay, I will see you tomorrow again with another uh, video session. So this is Richard Quack from Malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye.